Hey gamers and welcome to the 12W41A snapshot review. Um, they haven't actually done much, they've only added anvils which I'll explain now. To create an anvil you need 6 blocks of iron and 1 iron ingot. So the iron ingot goes in the middle, you've got the 6 blocks along the top and bottom and that is your anvil. Nice and simple, not that hard. Now if we actually go into the anvil um, let's say you've got two diamond swords. You can stick that in there, but there's no outcome. The only thing you can do with this is change the name. So I'm going to say AJ's Epic Sword. And I can get that out. That costs 15 levels to make. So 15 levels of XP. And now it's named AJ's Epic Sword. Now I'm going to show you if I get an Iron Sword and an iron sword, obviously that one's just deteriorated it takes two levels to repair that amount of damage and you've got a full iron sword so that can come in handy and you can also change the name while you're doing that now if I was tried to mix them it wouldn't work you see I've got no option you cannot mix different types of swords but you can just change the name straight up from an iron sword to blah blug, whatever I decided to name it. <laughs> now if we come over here you can see that looks nice, that doesn't, and that's just crap. So there's three different types. You've got the anvil, the slightly damaged anvil, and the very damaged anvil. So it's got durability in other words. Now it doesn't show the durability of how many times you can use it, but it lasts it lasts fairly long. It's good. It's worth what you make with, so I kinda like it. I mean you can see that's already damaged there, look. Now if we just come over here, another good thing about anvils, map makers will get a kick out of this. They fall and they deal damage. I killed a pig from this height. Now I can probably kill a pig from a lower height. I just did that to save time, make life easier. I'll just show you it works on different heights. They'll get damaged all the time. So instead of going to the top, let's put it here. Still kills the pig. So that's really, really useful. I really do like that, and I think it's a really good addition. I, I do like that. Now, they can stack up to 64, so they're stackable, which I actually wouldn't have expected from this. I don't know why. Um, a few other things to go over. If you have a cape, you do now have the option to get rid of the cape. I, unfortunately, do not have a cape, so I cannot show you that. But that's not a big loss. Um, just checking my notes here. So they've added an option for cake owners to hide their capes in game. So you don't have to go and change your skin or whatever it is you do with capes. I'm not that much of a master with it. Um, now effects given by the beacon are less intrusive on the screen. So you're not going to see big bubbles up in your face every three milliseconds. And it's not going to be just all up in your face. Which is really good. I really do like that. And another thing is if I get experience potions, wherever they may be, I have no clue where they are in the inventory. I don't think they're there. Basically, whenever you level up, every fifth level, you'll hear the level up sound. That just saves time. There it is. So let's just so listen out for it. You hear that? It was it was a lot longer than just, and it sounds a lot nicer. Let's listen to it again, and I'll turn the sound up. Damn it! In reach. I'll turn the sound up even more, actually. Okay, here you go.
and that is basically all they've added. They've also done a couple of little bugs, bug fixes and solutions to a couple of compatibility issues or whatever they do, but that's not really important. So as you can see the screen has gone dark, my night vision potion has worn off and that is my cue to end. Hope this helps you in some way or form and I shall see you later. Peace out.